All right. Now we go back now through this hell. Where these fucking guys just keep coming. Well, oh, he's there. Ah, oh, damn it. Glad I didn't do anything, I'm glad. Why, why is this a thing? Why do you make this a fucking thing where his head fucks up and then you have to click on it and it, they can grab you? That is terrible game mechanics. How are you want to work it? Like, did he reload, I guess? I hate that the fucking goddamn fucking thing just... Does you want to glitch out? Let me see what I got here. Dumbass motherfucker. Fuck it. <sighs> what? 
I want this one, you stupid fuck. Drop it. My god, you can't get to the next one? You're too fucking stupid to do that? Is that even hit now? This guy murdered someone's wife. Why are we now supposed to think he's like a good guy? The truth is undeniable. Fortune favors the bold. I accomplished my mission at the first light of dawn, and for once in my existence, the best plan was to not have a plan. I thought it was at the end of the game. Maybe I am. Aiden! How the hell did you... Yeah, you murder someone's wife. What's going on? By all rights, you should be dead. And you're not. Right. Who's to death to you? That fucking guy! Don't touch me! Stay away! Leave! He turned me into this freak! The antidote! I need it now! This? Give it to me now! Too many people have died over here. Why don't you 
drop the weapon so we can talk about it. Whatever happened, it's over. It's over. No! It's, it's over. Not over. Not by a long shot. Not until this this guy pays for what he did to her. Listen, listen. I don't know you, sir. But you can trust me when I say the man who did all this is dead. The Major's a hero. He risked his life. He risked his life? Huh? For what? To murder tens of people? Including my wife? And now what? This fucking melodrama. Are you shitting me? You shit me, right? This is without a doubt the worst PlayStation 4 game I have ever played in my life. Now again, when I say that, people go, what about this game? What about that game? That means I haven't played it. I have played, if I'm really counting... Maybe a little bit more than a dozen PlayStation 4 games. Maybe a little bit more than a dozen. Because I'm very choosy and picky on games, and I love horror, I love survival horror. This was absolutely god-awful, and every one of these people... You should be fired. Y'all should be fucking fired. Uh, this is a fucking joke. This is a fucking travesty of a game. And I don't know where to begin. I guess the positives, since there's only a few positives, the music, top-notch. Give it to the music. And there are certain environments that did leave a decent amount of atmosphere. The hospital setting, for example. And to be fair, granted out of cheapness, it did steer me a few times. Like, oh shit. <clears throat> But, number one, the voice acting is fucking terrible. Especially for Sam, the man, but Grabby, he said the best line ever in video game history. He's going there and then he'll be there. 
half the time well not there's a lot of times where the subtitles and the voice did not match the subtitles said one thing while the person said a different thing it didn't just happen once it happened multiple upon multiple times the animation can be very janky some of the graphics like some of the environments sometimes look pretty neat a wind is howling and materials flapping around on the flip side the faces look like PlayStation 1 PlayStation 2 I would go like maybe PlayStation 2 style the story is absolute fucking garbage in many ways uh, why is it that they made they made such a prevalent nature to play as this asshole at the beginning of the game he dies really really early on to a point you almost forget about it and then when he comes back it's not even like you hear his voice acting or anything else it's just a monster that oh wow well I guess that's yeah I guess he's the bad guy now you think that he would at least have like some kind of acting like the, the voice actor at least say a few stuff <clears throat> Mark Hanna this funny leaves like so high up there but then he disappears and is gone for a good chunk of the game what was the whole point of that guy who was playing chess narrating and then he disappears for most of the fucking game until the very end be like oh yeah by the way uh, I know you forgot about me why did we need the whole guy with pill scene illusions only for that ending and what the fuck is up with that goddamn ending? A cliffhanger bullshit that didn't... It's not satisfying. Why would you ever want to play the fucking game again? If I understand, there's another game, but it's a prequel. So you don't even have a follow-up to... Even if you are into this game. <sighs> so many janky bosses that doesn't tell you what to do. Like that one guy, I'm going around... I didn't know you had to fucking hit the button and get this guy trapped and electrocute him. Like it was the damn thing from another world. How the hell would I know that? The game doesn't tell you. It doesn't do a good job explaining some of the shit. And then some of the me mechanics. I understand the idea of reloading in real time. But... It, a lot of games you can pause and use an item. When you're in the midst of a battle like that, I can't pause and get to use an energy bar or a drink. The only things is like if you have one of those little health things, okay. But if I, I need to reload other stuff, I guess like that last one thing through the shot. But other stuff's like, okay, I have to make sure they stop and then go in. Like the, 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 uh, Magnum. You can't just hit a button and reload it. You have to go into the menu, do this, come by, go over here, take five fucking years. Why do you have to have a bit where zombies, like they've attacked you, you're off it, all of a sudden you have to hit like a ta 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 and get them off so then someone else can grab you? So many of these annoying mechanics with bad voice acting terrible fucking subtitles a story that just goes over the fucking place the pill stuff didn't need to fucking be there except that awful mechanic when you're in the hospital when it freezes it freezes and then blah 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 and then there's a bad guy right there out of the blue bring up shit like oh here's a is there anything else Okay, what's this? Okay. Sam and Sarah.
So, what the hell does that even mean? Sam's dead? Or is that his wife somehow got there? Okay, now we have a laboratory. Oh, I can move. Okay. Now we're in a first person bit. What the fuck? Gene signature confirmed. Welcome back, sir. Boot up the register. Ready to receive. Mission report K731. Personal code FG956-5061. Mission status completed. The material requested has been recovered. Of those involved, there's no one left. At least no one who knows what's really going on. I erased all traces of Kay's involvement. Hexacore Biogenetics will be blamed and held accountable for the mishap in Keen's sight. Good job, sir. What is this? Who gives a shit? Following materials archive. Evidence number one. HAF4RG0 Delta surveillance footage. That's Sam's woman. The moment has arrived. You know, I told you that I'd do whatever it takes to protect her, and now I gotta prove just that. Prove it to myself, to you. Mostly prove it to her. My precious little angel, Samantha. In exactly seven days, my man and I will be deployed to the agent's labs to recover samples of castor and pollux. How fucking dead those faces are in the wedding photo. One last tantalizing second. Jesus Christ. I couldn't live with myself knowing I didn't step up and do something. Even if it means burning in hell for eternity. So all of a sudden he has a daughter. What do you fucking do? Dead daycare. Dip fucking Mr. Nanny or Hulk Hogan. I don't give a shit. Yeah, kill you know, a million people, but you say one girl. Well, what do you fucking do, you fucking piece of shit? Evidence number three, Sarah Carmichael's reporting to Sam Walker. Give a shit. Does that have an actual ending? Here goes nothing. You're a lesbian. The more elaborate the lie, 
especially one as grandiose and brazen as this, the more difficult it becomes to explain. I should have waited for you to come home, to speak with you in person, but I just can't do anything but record this. That was the thing missing you when we got there. You will be home before dark, by which time it'll probably be too late. There's a good chance they'll come here and looking for me. They. I guess you were wondering who I'm talking about. What I'm about to say will change your life forever. Change my life, too. What's happening, one way or another, was inevitable. But at the cost of many thousands of lives, it will also mean the end of our relationship. Listen to me. By now, all of Keen's sight is lost. He... He did it. He infected the whole goddamn town, sentencing the people here to a fate worse than death. He committed a truly unforgivable sin. The last hope for a crazy man being puppeted by even crazier people. The Kuronosu Company. The what? Grizun Knight? I still don't understand how he could have done it. How anyone could have done it. Even him. Especially him. Damn you, Kuronosu! Hexacore! Damn you both to hell! Oh, Christ! We're just a bunch of filthy murderers. All of us. I don't give a fuck. Listen. I don't care. What I want to say, if I wasn't a coward, is that even though I've always loved you... How about not be a shitty dame? I've never been... I'm about not have ship mechanics. Dog shit reloading. Dog shit bosses. And wasn't ready yet. How about fucking ending? That'd be nice. Wonder Woman. I don't give you a fuck. You already know that I work for Hexacore. But what you <coughs> don't know is that my job isn't limited to mere administration. My field of expertise is actually the supervision of research studies, monitoring one of our most important <coughs> You. For decades now, our government has been experimenting in its own backyard, testing chemical weapons on an unsuspecting America. The project is called Truman, and King Sight is one of the most illustrious testing zones, with Hexacore overseeing the whole shebang since the 40s. You, and hundreds of others like you, are the end result of these tests, and we've been tasked with keeping you in check and gleaning as much data as possible about your condition. I can attest, however, that it took very little effort for you to the most important part for me because because I actually fell in love so with you so that's why he was seeing visions so and that's the explanation for that for me anymore. you've seen those visions because of this so shit when someone asks if I love my work I tell them yes thanks to you why don't you have this as part of the fucking and game and not like a why I've never had info the dump before. after the credits and more importantly I would never leave this place without you wouldn't this be better as part of the actual fucking game, like, middle of the gameplay? I hear something. There... There's somebody out there. That would've been nice. Instead of this big, giant fucking info dump. Incorporate this into the middle of the fucking game.
I wish I'd never got involved in this pile of poo. This piece of shit game. His daughter died? So now the plot is this guy was part of this plan to infect this town and for blah 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 and then somehow will save his daughter and whatever the fuck. I still don't get it, don't give a shit either. So that's the daughter. She's ready. She's gonna be the red queen. Fuck. B for bitch ass game. The fuck would the extra be? Is it an actual fucking ending? The deer clutch. I didn't give a shit. <clears throat> yeah, this game can kiss my ass. You know, I've done some of these playthroughs. I, I mean, for the most part, I've been positive on games, believe it or not. Layers of Fear I played, and then like, when I got to third out, like, eh, you know, but I could say I liked that game more than this. Until Dawn, I was enjoying, but I hate that they did the whole vibration, don't move, and I had not because I had not played the game before. I'm trying to hold it, and no matter how much you hold it, the vibration becomes so big that you will move no matter what, and it ruined the ending, and it pissed me off. Uh, but I would say, for the most part, that was a fun game to play. Uh, but I, I rage at the end. This is a fucking dumpster fire of a game. And I have no reason to ever play this fucking game again. So, I did to reiterate, I was kind of trying to pay attention to see something would come up, and again, you had this big info dump. Number one, the graphics. Sometimes they look good or, or okay or decent. Like the beginning, I like the helicopter and the rain is coming down, and again, some of the other stuff. Other times, it does look like a budget game. The way the faces are, and a lot of glitches. There'd be times where I, I died at one point, and it was all... You couldn't see me or the fucking creature. The, the one hit kill. We were invisible, and... The music is great. That's the positive. Uh, the characters. There's this whole background with Raven... And something happened, and he was a pilot, but it's never really fully explained. You just know something happened, and something with the shuttle, but it's so vague, and you never find out about it anyway, the full detail. Uh, and then Sam, did the voice acting is that, isn't that good. Half the times, the subtitles didn't fucking match. Apple Orchard, Cherry Orchard. He's going there, and then he'll be there. He's going there, and then I'll be there, and the subtitles the the gameplay like the shotgun there are so many times that the shotgun in a good game your up close will blow the head up and like Resident Evil 4 now granted this would no have the budget of that so I know that's fair but even like older games like come on man the reloading I get the idea of reloading in realistic fashion and it gives a bit of strategy do you reload quick to keep on pumping but then like that becomes a deficiency in battles where you you can't pause the game and reload in the menu it's like no you you have to find a way to hopefully they will glitch out and then you can slowly get that thing up 
and combine or use the energy bar or use the other stuff in order to keep going. Like during that big battle, would I be able to stop to use the energy bar? The only time I was able to do it when it glitched. When the fucking guy glitched. The story's all over the place. You have this guy named the Cleaner, rest in peace, Paul Haddad, who was Leon in the original Resident Evil 2. But given a pointless role, you never see his face. You He's at the very beginning, the very end, and like once or two times he pops up. But then there's such a long gap, you completely forget about him. You still don't know what his whole deal is. Uh, the plot, they put all this exposition dump at the very very end when that could have been incorporated throughout the game to make it more of an interesting story and cohesive story so it would seem like an accident but it was actually dumped on purpose and actually the Sandman had a hand of it because somehow some other corporations involved and somehow to for his daughter and he'll save his daughter but he did them thousands of people but yet is the game trying to make us feel sorry for him and Sam, like, okay, he's got these visions, but you find out now because he's a test baby. Crackhead baby, I don't know. And then it doesn't even have a fucking ending. It doesn't even have a fucking ending. And then lo and behold, the game, I mean, it must have done some business because it's getting that prequel, 1994, but... Which I find hilarious is you set it up for a sequel and you don't do a sequel. Instead you do a prequel. Even though the ending sets it up for a sequel. Does that make a lot of fucking sense to you? I'm guessing it's a prequel because it's called Daymare 1994. Unless they do something where it's like a sequel and a prequel. I don't know. I don't fucking care. And there's just so many points that are just not fun to play. The bit in the sewers with those guys that you cannot kill, and then you're shooting at them, shooting them, it does nothing, you're trying to run away, blah, blah, blah. Imagine if I had no ammo, then you'd be fucked. And you have to do that like three fucking times. Uh, that thing where you have to, where those two bad guys, and you're stuck, and all the, the fire, the PS2 looking fire around you. That ending bit where it's a one hit kill, like oh, all of a sudden now we have one hit kills. Now we have one hit kills in this game, which we didn't before. Now we have just one hit kills. And it's just ridiculous, like that one, you had to go around the fucking Rosie with the guy to wait for a fucking elevator, and I just managed because the guy glitched out. How many times did a bad guy glitch out and then I was able to fucking win? Going around, I mean, thank you, so it made it so I could beat the fucking game and not ever play this piece of shit again. Going around them waiting for it, it glitched out. That ending there, it fucking glitched out. It's like, boo-boo, boo-boo, boo-boo. <laughs> Poor placement of explosives. Like, some of those are supposed how are you supposed to get anyone near there? Because if you get near there, and you, if you get near that corner and you run this way... They're going to be on you anyway, and the explosion's not going to hit them. Or the explosion will kill you because you're too close, or all this other shit. And I don't even know if there's any incentive. I don't even know what the deer things do. Is there something we get, like, infinite ammo or something? I don't know. Is there any extra incentives, like other survival horror games? I, mean, I don't even know what you get if you get the, the deer stuff. I don't care. So piss poor voice acting. Incohesive story that just goes all over the fucking place. You know it's bad when they have to give like a fucking five ten minute info dump at the end of the fucking game. The pauses I'll give. Once in a while the atmosphere looked neat like in the hospital and felt good. And the sometimes shooting with the shotgun because I'm a sucker for shotguns. The music was pretty damn solid. That some unintentional and intentional laughs. 
One was, oh, wow, they got the studio in there, and there's Predator 2 type of poster, Demolition Man poster, okay. And, you know, again, I always bring up that line, just go in there, then it'll be there. But this is a fucking piss-poor game. Uh, horrible, terribly done game. And... I mean, this game ain't worth 20 bucks. I don't even know how much they're charging people. I, like, when it first came out, I should say. But... This needed a lot more work. Fix the jaintiness. Be able to pause and reload. Fuck the realistic reloading shit. I get the idea, but... There's a reason why a lot of these games don't implement that. There's a good reason for it. And all of that, just the... That the game kind of... Not kinda, it sucks. There's many times I wanted to rage out and never play it. But I, at least I beat it. I will never play this fucking game again. Like I said, it's a piece of fucking dog shit. It's a piece of dog shit game. You know, people give shit the Callisto Protocol. Now, yes. It had a higher budget, to be fair. It needed some stuff fixed, to be fair. It needed another few months to uh, delay but that has a lot of cool battle mechanics and that story leaves on a cliffhanger ending but much more enjoyable than this because Josh Duhamel gave a much better voice performance and would actually let me be curious as to what happens next uh, I'm going to check what's the what you did when you did the, the deer thing. Daymare. That's hilarious that they have a goddamn cliffhanger ending. The balls on them. The fucking balls on them. Okay, but what do you get when you collect on them? This shows where they're at, but what do you get? Does it tell you? It doesn't tell you what you get. Doesn't even tell you what the fuck. Okay, what do you get though? Audio logs, ID tags. The hunting season achievements. That's it? It's just an achievement? That's it. Just a fucking achievement. Wow. Why the fuck? Like, that's it. Hunting season achievement. Why the fuck would you give a shit about that? Just curious, what happened? to Sam Yeah, you find out that, you know, it wasn't Leave that shot everybody, it was this fucking Sandman that did it. And no, there's been no word on a sequel, it's just this fucking prequel. I'm just curious, is Daymare just curious if someone has, if I put is the worst 
there are there any articles that come up I, I know I know I'm just <sighs> officially one of the worst games ever played an ugly is that a blast from the past ugly a failed experiment I agree with that Three out of five and three and a half out of five bullshit. I would give this a one out of five. It's that zero out of five because the muse is pretty decent. If I was if it was more generous day, maybe a two out of five, but it's been a shitty day and so I'm not being generous. Fuck this game. Up a stupid fucking asshole. Fucking bullshit. God fuck this goddamn game. Just unfucking believable, man. Unfucking believable with some of this horse shit. Just. Just fucking dumbfounding, man. Fucking dumbfounding. That's just me, though. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. Like I said, I will never play this fucking game again. I mean, you don't even have a fucking ending to it. That's the thing, like, if I had, like, kind of a goofy or fun or satisfying ending to make it worth the journey, but the journey felt fucking pointless. Even if you're laughing at the story, there's no fucking ending. Why did the guy kill the wife? Or did he kill the... the it looked like he killed the wife. Did someone else kill the wife, I guess? But he was there. It didn't try to explain. If it wasn't him, who, who did kill the wife? Because she said someone was out there. Who did kill the wife if it wasn't him? If it didn't kill the wife, who did kill the wife? But then the guy said, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Not, I didn't kill your wife. So is he, he acted as if he admitted, yes, he did. And why? Because it felt like the rest of it, he was under control. Why do you bring up, okay, we don't play this asshole in the first couple of levels of the game. Like, the first chapter of the game, you're playing that guy. Then he dies really fucking early on. And then he disappears and... Oh, by the way, it's that guy. It is? Oh, well, he, he has no voice. He has no mannerisms. No, like, I want to get revenge of that guy. But, but no. Just another creature. That you can barely fucking tell. Could be any fucking person. This game fucking sucks. It's dog shit. I'm just getting all the frustration out. I know I'm repeating this. Fucking dog shit game. It can suck my dick and lick my paw. My paw. My poor old Paul in balls, man. Polly, you Polly. Dear Rocky, my boy, let's tell him beat the shit out of this game in the fucking meat locker. Fuck this piece of shit game. We'll never play it again. Just go play. You know what I want to play sometime? But I played a little bit, it was good. This fucking game. I should have been playing this game instead. But no, at least I played this and now they're at the play. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.